boy saying Chisel 23. What's today? Saturday, March 24th, out here, taking a trip with your boy saying Chisel again. Uh, this is a quick trip though, to the mall real quick, pick up some shoes, a beautiful sunny day, no scouts, clouds in the sky. Look at that, if you can see it. Um, yeah, headed out to the stores. You already know what day it is today, if you know it's March 24th. No, I'm not getting the Tinker 3s. I would have loved to pick those up. They weren't available where I live. I think it was Chicago and Toronto only. So, um, there was other ways to buy them online, but I just, I don't want to waste the time. Um, I, I got lucky this week. I got um reservation app on Foot Locker, able to get some shoes to pick up, and I got a gift card for Foot Locker for $50 from a pal so I can't complain um, it looks like I'm gonna end up walking out with a pair of shoes for maybe like 90 bucks um, I got my VIP coupon for 20 which can be used on retro Jordans don't let them tell you you can't if they tell you that you better jump on customer service at Foot Locker and call them ASAP because they just do that because they don't want to lose $20 off on the shoe but if you know if you work at any retail store if you take $20 off the shoe doesn't become 200 it becomes 180 and that's how much credit you get in sales for the day now some of these foot lockers and smaller stores they struggle i worked in a small foot locker back in the day where you know we only had 20 25 customers for the whole day it is what it is but um anyway out to the stores headed to foot locker to one of the dead malls in my area um nobody usually goes there but it doesn't matter because it's an app reservation so i can pick them up before three o'clock and now it's like almost one so headed out there to go pick up these shoes real quick and then have to go to work anyway review coming up in a few seconds so check out the rest of my video subscribe rate and comment if you haven't already again it's a beautiful day today 80 degrees sun is out no clouds time to go pick up some shoes completely quiet out here welcome to the mall the dead mall Let's go. As usual, the bag is secure. Foot Locker coming through once again. Um, Foot Locker, Foot Action and Chance, they're all pretty solid. You just got to choose what um, app or what store you want to go to or what's best for you. This mall right here that I'm in, mad stores are closed. Look at this. I know, I see other people's videos out there with other malls that call it Dead Mall. This mall is fucking super dead. Anyway, picked up my shoes. Guess I'll do a review for you guys real quick in the car. I'm not sure when I'm gonna wear these right away, so they won't be in on feet today, but um, let's check them out. All right, guys, what's going on? So let's do the review real quick. We got the Air Jordan 1 uh, Game Royals. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Game Royals. Uh, that's the color on the box. Game Royal Black Summit White. That's the same color they used on the Air Jordan 10s. Summit White. I guess it's some kind of off-white. It's not regular white. So, anyway, foot action. I mean, foot locker app. Reservation. Really easy to get. Bag. Box. There you go size 11 as you guys probably heard me in a couple other videos um i'm going up to size 11 now going forward um 10 and a half just feel a little bit too snug on me and i've been wearing 10 and a half probably like 10 or 15 years and it's amazing what a half a size does um, i don't know if you guys tried it but i feel like just it fits a little bit better it's not loose where it gets all crinkly in the front that's what i was afraid of but so far every shoe that i bought in a size 11 a half a size up has been really good for me um box price on these is 160 um i paid 99 dollars with tax and I'll tell you why I got the receipt and everything, of course. So first look at them. I haven't seen them up close at all. Um, oh, wow. The leather is really soft on these. The last pair of ones that I had, I had the black and royal ones probably like five, six years ago. Um, they got beat up so much. I wore them a lot. And um, I think I tossed them. I don't even know what happened to them. I didn't sell them. I didn't give them away. I think I just tossed them. They were so beat. Um, I wore them in the snow, the rain, whatever. Um, but at first, look at these. Of course, you got to do the smell test. Wow, they smell good. Um, so this will be my first pair of ones in over five years. And I tried to go after the bread toe ones, missed them. I think I didn't have money that week. 
it's one of those things where, you know, you're buying sneakers every month, you, some are going to get cut out. And I really wish I could have got a pair of those, but I didn't. But uh, first look at these, they look real nice. They look real clean. You guys can see the materials on them. Sorry. So leather and everything is really soft and squishy. Um, it's not too crinkly. It looks like the Bread Toe 1 material. Um, again, I haven't seen those up close, so you guys could probably tell me. The Nike Air right there. Extra bag with the blue laces. Um, they wouldn't look too bad with those, but I'm gonna stick with the black. Um, inside, you got the Nike Air as well. You guys can see that. Now, let's see, when were these produced? Wow, September. September 2017 to October 2017. That's crazy. That's a, a big production date, and these came out, it's March. It's like six months. It's usually what it is now, I guess. Um, so, yeah, they look nice. Um, white insole. They probably should have done a red insole, in my opinion. Put that white insole right there. Um, but it's just it's a simple shoe. I mean, these came out. What's the original price on these? If you know, drop it on the comments. 19, what, 85? I, I got to say the original price had to be less than 100 bucks probably like 90 dollars um i really don't know i'd have to research i don't have time to do that right now i gotta say the og price is probably 100 bucks less than 100 bucks so we're up to about 160 for a pair of shoes that came out more than i don't know what, 30 years ago so real nice looking um all around clean uh the colorway is really dope a lot of people said they'd rather have the black right here um and of course they call these the poor man frags uh, these are not really poor mans because honestly, you guys out there are probably going to pay $220, 250 260 for these on resale. Um, you know, I don't do those resale prices unless it's something that's like really hard to get. And I haven't bought anything that I paid more than box price for in like years. So um, I wouldn't suggest you to do it. But at the end of the day, if you want to go ahead and, you know, put your money out there for something that you really like, go ahead and grab it. I resell shoes that are used. I've done it for years, probably more than six, seven years now. Um, I've done trades before for shoes that I use. I've never really sold a pair of shoes that was dead sock maybe one time in my life um, for a couple dollars more than retail price. But for the most part, I feel like if you wear a shoe, it's like buying a new car. Once you take that shoe off the lot, it's got to drop in price. There's no way you selling dead stock shoes. I mean, undead stock shoes, um, you know, nine out of 10 condition that you've wore three times that look clean for box price or more. It just doesn't make sense to me, but um, I will never do that. That's my style. So your style is different, right? Um, so these are the Royal Ones, Game Royals. They look nice. Um, if you haven't grabbed them, it's probably too late already. Uh, they were sold out online as I was going to pick up my pair. Uh, again, resale price right now, lowest ask price on Stock X, which I think is still a little high. I mean, 210, 213. That's like $55 plus $55 over retail. Plus you got to pay the shipping and the tax. That's a lot of money. Um, I see people selling these on Twitter starting at 250, 265, 230 plus shipping. That's crazy. These are like these shoes cost like ninety dollars probably when they first came out. I know it's a long time ago, but th that's crazy because the materials ain't nothing special. It's not like you get a full bag of air under here, um, small air unit. But yeah, that's what it is, guys. So that's today's pickup. Um, I'm gonna definitely wear these for sure. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of them. Sometimes, you know, you get a shoe and you're like, should I sell it? Should I keep it? I think this shoe is going to be a collector's for me. I'm going to keep it in my little container store boxes for a couple months before I throw them off feet. And then eventually I'm going to wear them a couple times here and there. Um, probably look a lot better with some joggers and some jeans. Shorts, not too much wise. But uh, that's the review today, guys. Hey, anyway, thanks for stopping by the channel. Thanks for taking a trip with me to do another pickup on another Saturday. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you can get all the videos when they pop up. Um, again, I'm trying to stay consistent with videos as much as I can in between work time. And uh, just trying to put out some content for you guys to check out. Here is the receipt. I'll show you guys that. Um, so let's see. That's the receipt. I was allowed to use my $20 coupon. If you guys can see that. Okay, that was my VIP coupon for my last purchase, which I purchased um the nines so i got a 20 dollar from when i purchased those bread nines that came out because those were over 190 dollars so i got a 20 dollar coupon and then somebody gave me a gift card so i used that right there so 
So I ended up paying $99 for tax, which that's a pretty good deal for those. Um, shout out to the friend that hooked, the, hooked me up with that gift card as a gift. I appreciate that. And um, shout out to everybody that's bought a pair of sneakers from me, by the way. Shout out to you guys. Um, you know, that money usually goes back into sneakers. <laughs> it's not like I take it and buy anything special with it. Um, it usually goes back into sneakers. And that's what that's how the shoe game been survived for years now. So anyway, guys, appreciate you checking out the videos. I'll talk to you soon. Next video will probably be coming up next week sometime again. Um, no big pickups that I'm looking for, um, but maybe some toy pickups coming up real soon. Uh, I was able to get that Spider-Man Infinity War Iron Spider toy that I was looking for. I found it in Walmart. I just didn't film that day. Um, from my last video, you guys saw me looking for it. I got one more toy to go. I got to get me that Captain America Infinity War. Um, so leave a comment below if you got any of those and you were able to pick them up somewhere else like Target or whatever Toys R Us sale is going on Officially my last video you've seen um, I was in a Toys R Us and they didn't have the sales yet I was in a Toys R Us yesterday and they started 10 to 30 percent off So if you're watching this video go check out Toys R Us and grab something I just I grabbed a few like Funko Pop t-shirts that were like on sale for 10 percent off It wasn't a big deal I'll be going back there again because I want to get some Walking Dead toys that hopefully they'll go up to 30 or 40 or 50 percent um, but I think they'll be closing probably around June. It's going to be the final day for most of their stores. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. Anyway, guys, check out the other videos. Go ahead and raise, comment, subscribe. Share this video with everybody that you know so everyone can check it out. Really do appreciate it. And um, again, if you want to make a donation to my channel when I redo my new show that I want to do on a weekly basis, talking about wrestling, um, sneakers, and NBA talk. Um, I'm still getting some equipment, so I'm here and there. Uh, I want to do this probably April. Um, I want to start fresh again. I want to do it once a week, and I want you guys to be involved with the channel. And I want everybody watching to go ahead and you know get involved by making comments and leaving super chats and things like that, just so we can make it a group discussion. Um, eventually, we'll go with a co-host and all of that. So if you do want to make a donation to my PayPal, it's mjskater23.com. MJ, sorry, I keep saying .com. mjskater23 at gmail.com. You can go ahead and drop five, ten, twenty, hundred, whatever you feel like doing. If you got a good heart and you want to drop some money into PayPal, really appreciate it. And that money's gonna go towards the show. All right, guys, peace. I'll check you out later. Don't forget to check the other videos, rate, comment, and subscribe.